In this video, I will show you guys how to apply the stroke effect on your text using the control tool. So if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And without any further ado, let's jump straight to the video. Welcome to Career Pro, guys. So this is what you're going to have, and this is the text which will apply the effect on. So if you have to apply a stroke effect, stroke actually means an outline, just this way. This is the stroke, all right. But we want to apply an effect to this text using the Control Tool, all right. So if you um, if you look at some designs, you will see that. Um, on the if on the on the text, you will see like the same text will have an outline, just around it, all right, and it will have multiple layers and kind of a shadow on it. But it actually makes the design looks cool, you know. But I want to just show you guys how to um, apply that in this video. So to do that, come over to your um, shadow tool here and select this um, this arrow pointing down. Then select your control tool, and what you're gonna do is basically click and drag this width. All right, if you click and drag this width, this is what you're gonna have. Okay, so this is basically what you're gonna have. So you can increase as much as you want, or or decrease as much as you want. All right, so this is what we are going to have. So the best thing we're gonna do is drop this, and um. Right click on it and um, or before then, if you come to this property bar, you will see the um, property of this console, which you can add presets, all right? Any preset of your choice, you can add preset and um, you can actually um, play around it, apply the console that fills the objects. This is it. And this is, this is the one we're making use of just right now. All right, so I'll undo that and um, you can actually increase it, increase the steps, all right, and do other things. Over here, you can either change it to um, round corner. The round corner, if you look closely, will have a sharp, um, a sharp corner here. So if you change it to round corner, you can see it has given that unique round shape, all right. So this is what you're gonna have, guys. So the next thing we're gonna do is right click on it and select break control apart. The shortcut is control K on your keyboard control plus k on your keyboard all right so if you break apart now you can see this is apart and this is apart now this is what you're going to have so you can actually apply any color of your choice on this so i want to give this one a red color and now uh, let's decrease let's change the color you can change the color all right change the color of your choice let me just bring this one over here and let's bring this one here and uh let's basically play around it all right so let me click on OK and uh, I'll change this color to this first of all. Now you can see our console over here. Now what I'm going to do is if you look at some designs, this is actually uh, open. So if you wish, you can use the shape tool and uh, close this and uh, close this. Also close this just by deleting the node. These are actually not. So just click and delete, click and delete, click and delete. I believe I believe you've seen this on on most designs, guys. I believe you've seen it on most designs. Now this is control, and uh, you can actually play around this. You can add another control, another stroke on this one. And once you add another stroke, just follow the same process we had by right clicking and select break control apart. And this time around, you can change the color to any color of your choice, maybe white. Or any color of your choice. Now we're gonna apply the shadow. You can you can choose to apply the shadow on any of the layers. So come over to this and let's try applying the shadow to this one, to the first layer we have here. All right. If you apply the shadow to this one, and uh, you can see on the property bar of the shadow we have the shadow of rendering. You can change that to maybe ten percent. And once you change that, if you break the shadow apart, all right. If you break the shadow apart, if you break this one down, you can see this cool effect is giving us like, I see we can see through the, you know, the the text. All right, I see, I see there's a hole over here and there's a hole over here. And 
We're not basically applying this effect, this shadow on this layer. I'm actually trying to show you and give you an example of how to apply all of this. Now, you can actually, um, um, you can actually, let me, let me delete this one. I don't want to be seeing the whites on this layer. Yeah, I just want it to be like this. Now, let's apply our shadow on the white layer. So click on the white and drag just like this. And you can actually increase the the the, the capacity, all right, or the opacity. Now you can break it apart and bring this one down. Once you bring it down, you can see that cool effect. All right, you can see that effect. And this is basically how to apply the stroke effect on the head using your control tool. So you can basically do other things like um, adding effects, adding um, gradients. You can select your interactive fill color and drag this way. All right. Add the gradient to this. Any 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 color of your choice. You know, just to make it unique. As you can see, you can add any color of your choice. You can come around to this and add color. All right. Make it lighter or darker. All right. But on this case, we are just making use of I'm just showing you, I'm just giving you an example. And guys, this is basically, you can add anything you want and anyhow you want to look and anything that works for you, like I'll just tell you guys, just go for it. And this is basically how to apply the stroke effect on the text using color draw and the control tool. All right. So if you have any question, please drop me a comment down below and um, see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe and um, give a thumbs up to this video. All right, guys, see you guys in my next video. Peace out.